What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another video. Now, I've had a few days with the amazing Ankyo TXNR7100. Yes, um, because I get so confused with the RZ50. That was on my brain for months, but this is RZ50 is not even on the brain anymore. The TXNR7100 is a beast. It has everything I could want in the receiver, and I haven't even scratched the surface of what its potential is because I haven't even done the calibration. This video here is strictly just to show you where it's at. Uh, I'll just give you a peek at the back where all my wires are going on. It's a mess back there, but I mean, I'll show you anyway because you know, I want to show you all my cables back there. But I played PS5, Series X, my PC, all running through it beautifully. The, the HDMI 2.1 video board on this is perfect for me, for my situation. It passes every spec you can want for 2.1, up to 40 gigabits per second. Because this has three ports that go in and then back out. And uh, it's, it, all, the, all the check marks are there. It's just incredible. What's also great about it is I can turn it off and it still has the pass through to my TV so I can do whatever I want, play it and stuff without having it turned on, which is amazing. And also, I can turn on Zone 2 and have the same thing or something else go into my second monitor here. So I can have PS5 here and Series X here. And it works perfectly. Full HDR and everything on both. But for me, it's, it's just a perfect video switcher. <laughs> Plus all the other audio features of it. I love this thing. I've been waiting over a year to have my setup work beautifully with the central AVR because it is the heart of your system. And if you're looking for you know all the streaming services for music, all the video pass through and switching you could want, good power, great connections, and for what I've heard before calibration was amazing. Just imagine, I'm wearing headphones for over a year playing games and stuff, and then I turn this on on my speakers, and I'm like, what? I am inside the game. It just sounds so clear. The sound is so separated. It is just fantastic. I've loved Ankyo for a long time. It's just, oh, I'm so happy to have Ankyo back in the RAF cave. Looks great. I mean, all the dials are good. Um, so what I'm going to do for you now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the camera here, and we'll just kind of go through the menu, and I'll show you what it looks like when you press the menu and stuff. There was a, a, a question about the remote control. This is not backlit. This is the standard, basic, bare-bones remote. It just does what you need it to do. If you need a backlight remote, get a nice universal remote. Find a Harmony remote. It does everything you want plus the, the backlit. But don't make lights on a remote the reason why you don't get this amazing, beautiful receiver. Trust me. This is a beast. And it gives you everything you want right now for a receiver. Highly recommend it. Oh, thumbs way up. Link in the description if you want to pick yourself up one. Because these are available. I mean, <laughs> nine channels. Everything you want, THX, DTS, IMAX, whatever you need. This got it. HDR 10 Plus, HDR, Dolby Vision, all that. It's in there. Crazy. But yeah, download the app. The app is great, the Android app. You can control Zone 1 and Zone 2 separately. You can go into all the, the streaming music features, set up what you want, choose what you want. Customization is fantastic on the, on the app. That's great. If I want to turn on zone two, I just press a couple buttons, flip the switch. If I want to change the input here, I just press the button in front, it's awesome. Or you can grab the remote, but everything works just fine without needing the remote control for me and this. It's awesome. Oh, I cannot wait to get Direct going. I'm going to do that on the next video, so I have to download the software and stuff on the PC and go through all that and set up the mic and stuff. Well, I can't wait to calibrate my system in here with this and Direct. It's going to be a cool experience. Um, it looks beautiful, man. I'm just telling you. It's, it, Ankyo is here. It's awesome. There's a fan inside on the top. I've not heard it turn on once. I don't know if, if it makes noise and whatnot, but I haven't heard no fan going. I'm, I've been having this thing on for three hours straight when I'm gaming. I listen back there, no fan at all. So, I don't know. You right? Um, man, just awesome. Anyway, guys, I'll switch the camera over. We'll look at the menu. And uh, but for me right now, this is an incredible, incredible receiver, and I love it, and I cannot wait to listen to it more. Uh, but, man, 
let's go guys let's get let's show you the the, the, the menu here all right guys so here is the setup menu basically just press the uh, little gear icon on the remote and boom there you go so the first one here is your input output assign I'm gonna select that we'll go over to TV out and on-screen display select that so for me I'm having the uh, the main and zone 2 always on uh, Dolby Vision is on upscaling I'm, I'm not even using that I'm, you know I don't now no, I'm not gonna turn it on you, you can if you want super religion no now this is a very important uh, step guys for everyone that has HDMI 2.1 devices this is super important so check this out HDMI 4k 8k signal format select now this is very important so for me the first three uh, HDMI ports are the full 40 gigabits inputs right so you want to make sure that they're set to 8k enhanced now they also have 8k standard which is 8k without HDR but we want to get the full potential right so I'm going to turn all that on for the three the front three ports the first three and then the last four are uh, HDMI 2.1 at, uh, I think it's 24 or 28 gigabits per, seven, per second. So we'll leave it at 4K enhanced. So that'll get the 4K uh, uh, 60 um, up to the um, uh, all the HDR format. So we won't put that at 4K enhanced, right? So we'll leave that there. And I'm not sure why Phono is on 4K enhanced. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't turn it off. But that's very important, guys. So make sure you do this. Now, also, guys, when I first turned it on, uh, it says welcome and all that stuff, but also a firmware update popped up right away. So absolutely do the firmware update before you do anything else. So make sure you do that. So zone 2 HDMI, I want to use that because that's my second uh, monitor there. On-screen display, superimpose on-screen display. So that'll show like the volume and the input and information uh, on the screen. So that's, that's definitely on. Uh, mini player uh, on-screen display. So if you want to listen to music... Um, you can have a small mini display or mini player uh, if you want to do that on the screen. Uh, screen saver, three minutes. Uh, we'll go, f I don't know, eh, three, it's fine. Um, so HDMI input. Uh, so for for me, I'm going to have uh, one through four activated. I turned off the other uh, uh, four or three, three. Um, but make sure, um, you know, that's on the way you want it. So that's set. Uh, video input, I turned all these off because I don't want to have any compositor component um, possibilities to confuse the HDMI, so I turn all that off. Uh, digital audio input, that's going to be your optical or digital coax, which I'm not using, so I make sure none of that's selected. And of course, analog is your RCA red and white composite, so we're not using that. Uh, speaker configuration, this is what I'm rolling with right now. This is going to be a 7.1.2. This is what I roll. I got seven speakers around me and the two at most uh, top middle for me. Uh, subwoofer, yes. Uh, even There is two separate uh, subwoofer connections, but it's only a single channel. So they're both mono coming out. Okay, But it's nice having two versus one. So that means less uh, Y adapters and uh, splitters you got to worry about. Uh, the height one, uh, for me it's top middle. Um, you can choose top front or top rear. Uh, zone 2 line out. The, I'm not using that, so whatever. I'll just leave that zone 2. Uh, impedance of speaker, minor 8, so 6 six and above is what you want. You can go 4 or 6, so I'm going to say 6 and above. Uh, the crossover, right now for me, I'm just default 80, 80 hertz THX standard stuff. Uh, LFE is at 120. Crossover type. Oh, nice. That's the Klipsch. So, yeah. So, Ankyo has a special uh, partnership with Klipsch speakers. I think this is where you can actually type in the model number of your of your speakers, and it will know exactly how to dial them in for you. Oh, that's amazing. So, if this Ankyo was in my home theater, I would definitely get my Klipsch speakers set up to it. But, um, but for uh, Klipsch owners out there, a huge plus and win to get this Ankyo because it's going to be matched with your Klipsch speakers. So, huge, huge props. Ankyo for putting that in. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Distance, of course, is going to be, you know, how many feet uh, for speaker to listening position. Uh, level calibration. Whoa, boy. It's going to get loud, I think. Hold on. Yeah. All right. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, Dolby enabled speaker. I don't have any Dolby enabled speakers. Those are the, the little top um, shooting up at the ceiling speakers. I don't have those. Equalizer setting. That's if you want to do your own uh, EQ. Not for me. THX audio. Uh, back speaker spacing. How far apart are your center rear speakers? Mine are going to be, you know, about a one and a half. Uh, THX Ultra select subwoofer. I don't have any THX rated subwoofers. Loudness Plus is uh, if you want to have that uh, boost in uh, bass uh, during low volume scenes. I'm, I don't like doing that. Uh, speaker virtualizer. Mine's off. I don't have any virtual. I don't want to do any virtual speakers. Speaker combo. Uh, select speaker brand you use to switch speakers below. Klipsch. Other. Yeah, I have other. Okay, you don't need to do that. All right, and then uh, audio. That's mono stuff. Dolby. Loud management. Turn that off. Center spread. No. BTS IMAX. BTS auto surround on. Cool. IMAX stuff. Leave it at auto. Yeah, very cool. IMAX. LFE level. Just flat zero. That's if you want to boost uh, the bass for um, certain frequencies, certain signals. You know, like DTS, always have a little bit punchier bass. If you want a Dolby to match DTS, you can bump the Dolby up a little bit to match the DTS uh, bass. Uh, volume, I always go relative. I don't, I don't like seeing plus. I like seeing that negative uh, next to my volume. Uh, mute, max volume, always set that to zero. Zero for me is reference. So I don't need to go past reference. <laughs> uh, power on volume. I usually like to go a little bit. You know, it's around 40. 40 is good. Uh, don't worry about headphones. Uh, let's see. Source. My input volume. Oh, the current the current volume of import source can be adjusted here or by pressing the input selector for three seconds. Oh, interesting. Uh, I would want this to be at 40 because that's where I want my receiver to turn on pressing the input selector for three seconds wow. all right get that up to 40 hopefully it doesn't change that's cool all right cool you got that uh, name so this is where you name your inputs very nice gives you about uh, what is that eight nine I think there's one more so eight to nine uh, uh, letters for that and then uh, audio select HDMI of course so that's that hardware HDMI hardware uh, CEC mine's off so I think with this if you turn your TV on it'll automatically turn on the Onkyo receiver if you like doing that you can do that for me I like doing it separate I don't like to be forced to turn on my receiver every time I turn my TV on you know what I mean uh, HDI stand, standby, assign, oh yeah, wait, assign which HDMI source to pass through when unit is in standby. Uh, so whenever you turn off the receiver, it automatically go to this input to pass through to the TV. Always. So for me, I don't really have a specific preference, but that's nice to have that option. TV audio out. Uh, this is if you want the audio of your source to pass through the receiver to your TV speakers. Um, Sure. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Leave that on. Because not every time I want to have my receiver on, I want to use my TV speakers. So this way the, the sound passes through the receiver to your TV speakers so they can be used uh, when you want. Uh, eARC, of course, is on. Uh, lip sync audio. I always leave it on. It's pretty pretty accurate there. So this is your network. So if you want Wi-Fi, you can turn it on. I have an Ethernet cable plugged in, so mine's already set. Uh, Bluetooth is there if you want to set up the Bluetooth. Power management here, your uh, sleep timer. Uh, so I would probably turn this on to, uh, I'm going to say 30 minutes, uh, I'm going to say an hour. So if it doesn't have any signal for an hour, it'll turn off automatically. Unit will like me shut off with no signal. So it turns off automatically if no signal. I don't know, not, not, not necessarily. Uh, let's see, USB power, turn that off, network standby on, so if you want to, you know, play music through the Onkyo from your app, like turn on, you know, Alexa Music, like Spotify or something like that, it'll turn on the receiver automatically and start playing music, or if you want to just, uh, 
play uh, internet radio or something, you know, it turns on. Uh, Bluetooth wake up. So if say if you have your phone, and you want you have some music on your phone, and you want to Bluetooth it to your receiver, it will automatically turn on when you send it a Bluetooth signal. Very cool. Uh, 12 volt trigger. So this has some triggers in back. I think there's two. Uh, so zone one and zone two. So if you have a separate uh, some kind of amp, a two channel amp, I don't think this does multi channel. I think it's only two channel. Um, it'll turn on like just any trigger, like you know pr projector screen. Uh, number, number of other triggers that you can use, lights, something like that. So you can turn it on or off if you want. 12 volt triggers. Uh, works with Sonos, of course. If you have Sonos uh, products, you can integrate it with the Ankyo. Very cool. Uh, multi zone, uh, zone one, zone, you know, two, three, remote play zone. Uh, select zone only if you want to start audio play in a certain specific zone. Say main. And then uh, miscellaneous, we got the tuner, frequency sweep, remote ID, firmware update. We're good. It'll let you know automatically if there's a, an update, or you can do it through USB if you want to force a new one. Initial setup, lock out the receiver so no one can tamper with it, and then factory reset to default. Yeah, it is, guys. Beautiful receiver. On cue. Love it. So can't really get to a good angle to show you guys, but there's all my HDMI cables there. Uh, we got the zone two out, uh, the main zone. We got the computer, the PS5, the Series X, and then that's going to be uh, my uh, super box. Then I have uh, two extra. Got Ethernet. Got a separate. Uh, it's the monster power cord there. Got all uh, banana plugs, of course, guys. Don't ever use bare wire. Use those uh, binding posts. They're very clean. Nice way to go to all your speakers. All set up there. Then uh, the subwoofer. Got a couple subwoofer outs there. Then your zone two. All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little run, uh, overview or run through of the, uh, the setup menu of the Ankyo uh, 7100. I love this receiver. And... Uh, I just can't wait to dive in more with the Dirac and get this all my speakers uh, calibrated in real nice. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope this helped you out with your decision on the next receiver. I highly recommend buying this one, guys. It's the way to go. Uh, it's beautiful. It does everything I want. So, if you want to pick yourself up one of these, there's a link in the description below for Amazon. Helps me out. Helps you out. Really appreciate it, guys. These are in stock right now. Go pick them up, man. They're great. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna have some fun. Get this calibrated and. Uh, Let's game. And of course, you know, movies and music and all that. It's just, it's, it's got everything you want. Beautiful. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, show your support, subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have one yourself. Um, yeah, man, appreciate it. All right, guys, until the next one, home theater rules. Raph out. See ya.